Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to update the Skype application. So, first of all, of course, all you need to do is just go and open the Skype application if you have it already on your PC. Of course, if you don't, all you need to do is just go and open whatever browser you are going to use to download the Skype application. Of course, any browser will be work uh, could be working for you will be great. Once you open your browser, go to the URL section and type download Skype application and then hit the enter button then go to the first link and once you are there, go and start downloading the application. Of course, that will be pretty simple because you must have been already downloaded something before on your PC so you will need to go through the same steps. Once you're done, once it's downloaded, go and install it and open it up. And once it's open, they will ask you to log in into your account. Of course, if you don't have an account, you'll be able even to create one from there. So, once you did one of those two options, you'll find yourself here with this home page or with this main page. And as I said in the beginning of the video, you'd like to update your Skype on the Skype application, of course. So, once you are signed in or logged in into your account, you would like to go at the top left corner here and click at these three dots. Or you can even just go here and click at your profile. Of course, if you click on your profile, you can go here and click at what's new. Or you can just go here to the top right corner, three dots, click on it, then go and click at help and feedback. Of course, you would like to go and check right here. As you can see for me, they are telling me that you are on the last version of Skype. Of course, if you are not on the last version and you want to update it, you will find here an option to update it. If you didn't even find it, you can just go here and click at get help, which is, will take you at their browser and you can check for any updates or you can even like just install it and install it from uh, the beginning. So this will be actually for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.